Hi everyone, Steve from OpenBOM. Now let's go through quickly the installation of the Fusion 360 OpenBOM plugin. I've uh, downloaded the plugin. There's a couple of different ways you can do that. I've downloaded the plugin to my desktop. It's a zip file and I've uh, unzipped those files into the location on my drive. And I'm going to keep track of, of where that is. Return to, <clears throat> to return to Fusion. Open the add-ins area of Fusion. I find this little green check mark which says I want to add an add-in. And then I'm going to navigate to that location, which happens to be right here. I'm going to open that directory, say open. I see that that uh, shows up in my in my add-ins list. Watch up here. I'm going to run that script and our open bomb menu will appear. So now I am, uh, I'm good to go. I've got OpenBOM running in Fusion. I can cl click one of the OpenBOM buttons and I'll get a notice saying I need to have a, uh, uh, I need to have a, a model open. Let's go ahead and open a model quickly. And I'll take you through the initial, uh, initial use. So, uh, of course, OpenBOM works on assembly, so we need to be in model mode. Return to model mode. We'll see the OpenBOM uh, menus appear. Let's say, uh, let's make a parts list. First thing that will happen is I will need to sign in. To OpenBOM. And OpenBOM will build a parts list. The new Fusion integration uses something called Fusion Palettes, which might take a little bit of getting used to. It's a fully embedded integration for OpenBOM right inside of uh, right inside of Fusion. So there's a couple of navigation tools that you might want to know about. One is uh, dragging that uh, handle around. The other here will uh, collapse and open the open bomb window. Aside from that, we've just created, it was just that quick. A couple clicks, we've created a uh, build material with all the information from my, uh, uh, from my fuel filter model. So uh, there's more information online you can, in, in the documentation. You can always send email to support at openbomb.com if you have any trouble. Thanks.